Hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon White Randomizer Nuts Lock. If you did not see the ending of the last episode, we are... Is that aside to you guys? We are in the middle of a conversation. We have beaten, truly beaten the sort of really young menace, young looking menace of Shauna. I believe the guy says she's 14 and we're like 15 or 16. I'll give a she looks 10 to me, bro. That's too young. Leave us alone. Stay away. Arm's length at all times. So this this has popped up. So now that we've moved on to the next episode. Let's see who this is. It could be either one of them. So I, I, I guess Trevor said that. Like, hello, Big C and Shauna. What are you two up to? Oh, nothing big. Why is her voice box coming out of me? How about you guys? Well, same thing as you, Sean. Oh, we heard the big C coming from the professor, so we came running as fast as we could. Big C, can we have a Pokemon battle? I mean, I just want to slow you down and sort of make it take really long for you to get to the last gym. How about that? Not even a yes or no. Now, I know Pokemon, when they do yes or no things, they'll be like... Yes or no, and you go no. That are you? you no, know, oh, come on, really though. Yes or no, and then we'll just do that until you say yes. But still, brother Magmortar, I love Magmortar. See, this one, this is my love hate relationship with Gem Four. This is my love hate relationship with Gen Four. I swear to God. I love Magmore, I love Electvire, I love Tangrowth, despite in the last episode I said, why well, I don't love Tangrowth too much. Like, it gave us Garchomp. Um, I love Empoleon in that gen. It's up the Sonic's fan, bro. Young Mega's pretty cool. Togekiss. Was it Togeic? Togekiss, yeah. So many good Evos. Porygon Z, which... I don't care about the damage. Fuck the burn, bro. Now I'm doing half damage to you. And you still couldn't take it because you're a bitch. Anyway. It's more because I'm overleveled, but still. I can't help it. I'm trying not to be. What do you want me to do? Not get experience? Uh, Malmar. It's the first time we're going to see a Malmar as well. Um, if you don't know what a Malmar is, Malmar is bastard. <laughs> It's, I believe, isn't it Psychic Dark? Even though it looks like a squid. I believe this boy is Psychic Dark. Which is super annoying because... I don't know if I can hit him. I, I can never remember if Psychic resists fighting. It does. Because it was neutral. Um... Okay, I did not know he gets superpower, but okay. Um, where did I put my D did I put my DS away? No, my DS is all the way up there. I'll show you using a mobile, an old mobile telephone I have just sitting on my desk. So imagine this was your DS, and you opened your DS to evolve in K into Malmar. You had to turn the console upside down after when you level up at a certain after a certain point. Um, yeah, I guess. And it would evolve from um, Inkay to Malmo. And then they sort of, they, they were like, um, okay, this gimmick makes sense in this console. Let's just fly. But it might not make sense in future consoles. It does work on the Switch, because they are in Scarlet and Violet, I believe. I know it works on Pokemon Go, because you, you literally have to turn your phone upside down to evolve it in Pokemon Go. Oh. You got a penis berry. You fat dough boy, bro. Close combat tool. Not very, I'm a flying type, bro. What are you doing? And now you lowered your defense and your special defense. Just gonna flamethrower him, right? 
ปิดกว่าวายปิดวาย And you're burnt. You see, that's what happens when you are bitch. Can't endure the burn, can you? You're still taking that burn damage. You're still going down. That's what you get for being a sweat, bro. Uh, it's weird, but I don't get the doubt when I lose to you. Yeah. Imagine your friends facing you like playing a game of whatever, like COD or FIFA or. Whatever you're playing, like some competitive game online against your friends, and like they beat you, and then like you go to them, here's ten pound, bro, or ten dollars, or whatever your currency is. Every time they beat you, <laughs> what? Bet you need to get someone to battle, but they're dead. The other time made me think if Big Three had been there, I would be dead. Now that's for sure. That made me want to get to know Big Three better, and I thought about it would be the best way to do that. I mean, you could just talk to me, bro. It's kind of selfish of me, I guess, but it's also my way of thanking him. Dear no, it's great when Pokemon trainers like us can understand the hearts and minds of other trainers through Pokemon battle. But before we do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. Why? And now your turn, Big C. Why? Because I think I will follow the crowd and be your opponent as well. But this time it won't be about the Pokedex, it'll be a Pokemon battle. Yeah, they all basically have three Pokemon, 49, 49, 51. And it's a little gauntlet. And if I had gotten here a bit earlier in the last episode, I would have done all three in one episode, but... Ooh. Ooh. And that's a no good. That boy has a massive bounce and he's not afraid to use it. Um, eh, let's go Rex. We ain't done Rex in a while, right? I think Rex takes headbots and head smashes and all that kind of shit better. And that. Remember, Rampardos is a fossil, and he I believe he's pure rock. But, because he's pure rock, um, we are very afraid of him. He's very he's pure rock, very fast, and has a high attack stat. And, uh, yeah, Charles has four times weak to rock, as I keep mentioning. Do not want to be anywhere near one of those rock types. Swoo! Back. Yeah, this thing sucks in Gen 5. We didn't really get to see it too much. It's Rat Bat Pig. Literally Rat Bat Pig because it's a bat with a rat's tail and a pig nose. So it's Rat Bat Pig. But it's a psychic flying type and unfortunately it evolves with friendship. I do not like the friendship mechanic. It's annoying as hell. Furligurd. You're not a furligurder, do you? You got one of them furligurders. We're gonna have to go Mega Tropicana, I guess. I mean, all we can do is Ice Fang us. You know what would be devastating? Pokemon. Pokemon. Expand your possibilities. You got Crunch, which is just a more powerful version of Bite. Why not make Ice Crunch, Thunder Crunch, Fire Crunch? You don't have to call it Crunch, but you know what I mean. Because it's not called like Thunder Bite, it's called Thunder Thang. Make crunch versions of those. They should expand their repertoire as well, like rock rock version of Bite and a dragon version of Bite would fit Rex 100% perfectly with his strong jaw. Stab stronger bo strong jaw boosted moves would be insanely good. I don't know why they always, is it because like Gen 1 was like Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and they were like, let's do the same thing with Bite, make a Thunder Fire Ice. So but then why isn't there a Thunder Fire Ice Kick? Uh, oh jeez Rick. There's still so much I don't know, I, uh, do I have what it takes? I don't think I've heard you about being weak and strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it just because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's that you, what you learned from being with Pokemon and with us, your friends. Speaking of which, where's Serena? She just tell you with a big evolution, girl. Beep. Didn't even come see me. Crazy asshole. She said friends are friends, and even if they can't be together. That sounds like a bitch excuse to me, bro. Indeed. Well, there's something we must attend to, be seeing you. 
turned himself into a pack pack backpack. Funniest shit I've ever seen. I'm so glad I went on a journey and I made some great friends and thanks to my little thinking. You don't have a thinking, but anyway. That I made before we left, I was able to visit many places and meet lots of nice people and make many wonderful memories. Big C, this film is. What a ball, hey, get up, what a ball, hey. If you're bad with the gym badge, it's never says gym, you can use waterfall. Go, 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 and see him. So, yeah, there are some waterfall items we could get. I am not doing that, bro. I know, like, in some of the, the game's guides, it's like, you have got surf. Now we need to go to these specific locations in order to use surf. And I have done that in my other playthrough, so if you like it, you like it. I'm going to say, because obviously I didn't save at the end of the last episode, so I'm saving now. I can't lose my recordings anymore because of the way I've got this shit set up. I had a feeling this little empty space is going to be site. Moo Moo Milk straight from the the flipping titty of the Moo Tank. The Moo Tank. Meal Tank. Miru Tank. Because yeah, we're here. And we go through this nice, warm, swampy region. Then we walk through this door right here. And all of a sudden, we are in the middle of a blizzard. As a tradition. Yep, Snowball City is snowy. Who would have guessed? So the final city in the game. I don't think we need cut because cut is generally a thing reserved for the use. Thank you. It's generally reserved for the use of plant areas, and this is ice. Um, we actually might need it for the flipping forest. What do you have for sale, crazy guy? Hearthstone, shall I say more claw fossil, sacred ash, sunstone, never melt ice, and a spell tag. I'll buy a single sun. Oh, I've got three sun stones. Uh, never melt ice. We don't really need that. We don't need. A, we don't need any of your, your shit, shit, bro. Get out of it. Get out of it. Why are you talking to you, bro? Get out of my way. <laughs> Let's go check out the clothes shop, which I believe is down here and on the other side. Is it up here? Is it you? No, it's not. It's you, isn't it? Oh, God damn it. So there's the gym. You saw the gym. We walked past the gym. Ah, uh, which that's kind of nice. Change my style up a little bit, in it. Now, ironically, you'd think that this would be the town with the, you know, snow jacket, but whatever. Green hoodie. Cum stain t-shirt. Red cum stain t-shirt. What's it look like? Uh. Yeah, that's bad. Orange bag. I don't like this t-shirt, but I think the combination works a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I even look at the price, bro. How much are you costing me? That's 700 Gs. 12 grand. 12 grand. They want 12 grand for a t-shirt and something. Oh, Lord. Don't even talk to me. You flee. I'm a child, bro. Why am I spending 12 grand on clothing? Actually, I think I gotta go to the gym. Also, <laughs> dude, I'm so high. <laughs> he just looks. So if we talk to this guy, he will tell you that. Hey, to disappoint you, but the gym is actually out right now. He said he was going off to the winding woods. If you feel like searching, yeah. Now there is, there is three hidden items in this town. We're gonna to quickly have a search for. Uh, we can't go up there because that's a slope. Anything here? Oh, we're close to sight. Is this that way, though? Oh. It's that way. What the hell? Oh, okay. It's just on this random snowbank. All right. I don't know which one that is. It goes... Tree next to a house. Northwest is gym. North of the... Oh, okay. That's a north. So there's one... Okay. There's one next to the gym. And there's one in the tree next to someone's house. Ah, oh, and I guess it's down there. How do we get down there? I'm so confused. Because it sounds like here, right? I just came down here. Yeah, because it doesn't go this way. It's this way. Can you move? Oh, it's just... Literally up in a tree is a Pokeball, okay. So then there's one next to the gym. 
Does it say exactly where it is? Northwest corner of the gym by the boutique. I guess up here? Maybe up here? I mean, saying it's that way, right? But I was just there, I didn't see shit. This game sometimes, even when you know where things are, roughly, they still run your cheeks. Um, yeah, let's go find the gym leader. We still have a couple encounters left in us, so let's see if we can get that God of War. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Got to go a bit slow. Another episode light? Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I know where I'm going. And as soon as I get into this place, I don't know where I'm going anymore. So welcome to Route 20, the Winding Woods. Uh, this place is like the Lost Woods in The Legend of Zelda. However, it's about time again for me to complain about my ass hurting and to use sweet scent. Because when I slide down in my chair, I think I just sit on my tailbone too much and it's fucking annoying. Very interesting. Now... We used Victoria, the, the goth hotel before. However, let me, oh, I don't want to move because it would have been annoying to move. Um, right, we're going to Mega Evolve and we are going to Flamethrower. Who's going to be the most annoying bastard here? Probably goth hotel. I want that electric. It's not an Electros, that's an electric. With a Thunderstone that evolves into an Electros. Oh, my butt hurts. Oh, yeah. I have a break after this one. I've been sitting in this chair too long, my boy. Too long. Oh. It's in the previous episode. I don't know how many episodes I've recorded today. I can actually look at how many episodes I've recorded today. Give you some background information on what's going on. I've recorded one, two, three, four. This is episode five I'm recording today. Five. I've been sitting here for the previous four episodes. With this damn chair not moving. I'm going to take a break though. So yeah, I want the electric, electric. The problem we had with, um, what did we call him in the last game? My memory is bad. Oh, it's been like a couple, it's been like two months or something, like three months since I finished that game, to be fair. I just realized he's sparking me. Of course, as soon as I realize it, he paralyzes me. Thanks, bro. Really fucking appreciate your penis. Doesn't that screw over his own fletchling? Oh no. Exactly what you need in a fight to be fully paralyzed. Go second before everyone else in the horde battle and then get fully paralyzed 50% of the time because the game's a bastard. <laughs> so I would put super repels on because battle's taking way too long. Charge beam is fine, it can't paralyze, but it can boost his attack. Like that. Why does it always happen as soon as I say it? It's really annoying. Also, my mic is pointing up in the air instead of towards me. Um, Hopefully the audio settings have been okay for the last... I don't even know how... I was recording all today and yesterday, so... To catch up for the shit I missed because of Wingfest. It's my Monday today. I normally don't record on a Monday, but I got the day off, so. I'm sorry. How many episodes have I recorded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is episode 14. 
My god. If you're wondering why I've been wearing that same blue shirt through the whole the last 14 episodes. I recorded all yesterday, woke up today, then recorded all today. And it's actually really cold. So I've not I've not needed to change shirt. Although I probably will have a bath soon. So that I do not get so smelly boy. Anyway, um Let's get rid of this Flachinda. Which thanks to doing agility 29 times outspeeds me. Oh, because level 25 can't do shit. Now hopefully this Electros isn't too OP. Thank you, you're stupid. Unless this is a genius play on his part where he's gonna bind me so I can't run away and then just Oko spark me. And be like, mmm, mm, 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 you can't run away now, you fool. Although the the thing that's kind of funny about it is he's using Charge Beam. Charge Beam raises your spec uh, spe raises your special attack. However, ugh, he's pissing on me. That's what acid looks like in this gen. Um, however, brain is trying to get there. My brain is trying to think of six things at once. However, Spark is a physical move. I gotta look up what we called this guy, because I don't even know. Once we catch him, I'm gonna pause the episode and check. Got him. I don't wanna do it now just in case it's like, oh, you fucking around with the episode. So let's read his Pokedex and then I'm gonna pause and then quickly read what his name is. Electric, the elefish, elefish, the eel fish Pokemon, elef, elefish. <sighs> Electric, the elefish Pokemon. These Pokemon have a big appetite. When they spot their prey, they attack it and paralyze it with electricity. Would you like to give this boy a nickname? Yes. Now you're gonna have to, it's gonna be like a split second for you, but I'm gonna quickly, it's just a weird cloud. I'm just gonna check, I'm gonna be back in a second, so I'm gonna give him the same name as we did in our previous playthrough, white two, black two, whatever it was. Uno momento, por favor. Ooh, okay. Two things I found out from that. Why has he got the mouse symbol? <laughs> I guess having two <coughs> devices running at the same time does that. Um, what am I doing, what am I doing? The first thing is I realized that I did not save the game after I beat it, so when I loaded the game, it loads up in Victory Road <laughs> just before the rival fight before you go to the Elite Four. So I literally beat the game and just closed it. <laughs> I did not save the game. So I loaded there, and technically this thing is called Latch. And also the um, Volcarona was called Cheeto. There you go. And we had Jelly Belly on the team still, because we didn't swap him out, because we needed someone with Surf, because we didn't want to put Surf on our... What was our water type in that game? I can't remember. Um, I, ain't got, I ain't got time to waste, nah. So we didn't get a Gardevoir. We ain't got a Fairy type this whole game. Um, anyway. Good electric type. As I said before, when we played Black 2, yeah, I believe we've got Black 2. Um, even though I just literally booted the game up, my mind just went... Um, my God. Because we got an Electros, and Electros evolves with a Thunderstone. We got it at a low level, but it had already like set moves for the whole game. They never like Discharge, Acid, Crunch, and something else, which we got rid of really quickly. And like, because it's a stony evo, it comes with that moveset whether it's level 1 or 100, it does not learn anything. In some cases, break that rule, but that's the most general rule. But because this is an electric, and it can evolve into an electros, it has actually an actual moveset. So that's why it has things like charge beam and such. Uh, anyway, enough talking shit. Uh, I actually came in here not just to heal, but to actually put on the super repel. And try and figure out this Lost Woods motherfucker, because this thing is absolutely annoying. So here's the Mossy Rock if you ever want to evolve your Eevee into a Leafeon. There's also a figgy bush there. Now if we go here, then we go down again. 
See, this is like the Lost Woods. They don't make sense. There should be an item here. Thank you. A Kaiba Berry. It's over, Yugi. Uh. So if we go... I'm trying to... Hello, little girl. So we can't go through here. This is a dead end. That's cool. It's fine by me. Fine by me. You should see the map of this place. It's absolutely massive for such a tiny place. Because it's like, this goes here, then this goes here, then this goes here, then this goes here. And it's like, fuck's sake. I don't want to win, 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 I never stop. Right. So from here, the only other way, there is actually two other, there's actually another way we can go. It goes to A. Where's A? Where's the other A? It's like, go through here for A. That goes to a dead end. So I'm just quickly looking this up. That goes to C, C goes to a second dead end, or to a tree that goes to D. Where's D go? D goes there, so that go D, okay, th that goes to the exit, so we do not want to go to the exit just yet, so we're gonna go this way. Mm. So there's a double battle up there, which we can just avoid by walking under here. Now if we go down here, we go to a dead end with a tree. Do you fight me? Mayhaps you do, mayhaps you don't, but I don't really want to fight you, so suck my dingle dangle. That's a dead end, by the way. It's literally just for that item. It's in Japanese, this guide, I believe. All the pictures are from a Japanese guide, so they're all, they've got kanji. Like, it just got a thing pointing to a tree and a bunch of kanji under it. I have no idea what it says. So if we go up here, the picture is so small, I cannot see what letter this is. Uh, where the hell are we? In relation to this map I'm looking at. I think we're there. Oh, we're next to the HM. TM, sorry. So this all leads to dead ends. Other than over here. I'm going to try and avoid the trainers because we're a bit overleveled. So this leads us to another tree, which we run around. See, we go down through this tree, and this actually leads us to the exit. Kind of. So if we go, I need to make this picture bigger. I'm gonna start leaning guy there. Hello, I can't see. Hello. Let me increase the size of this image. Thank you. Thankfully, my PDF reader has a zooming function. I said it's a PDF because if I use this in Chrome, it eats all my memory and clashes with OBS, which is recording this and <clears throat> what I'm running this on. Um, and you just get going on. You're just like, oh god. Um, this is some low resolution picture, but so if we go this way, if we go this, so if we go this way, it just loops us, and we'll come out on this side. However, if we go in that side, I want to figure out how we get to that TM. So we're gonna go to F. All I want is this fucking TM, bro. Where's F? I'm so confused. Where's F? These people are mad. I think it wants us to go this way. Which is a dead end. Yeah, let's use a repel or not. So let's get the items here. Magma Rise. I did not know there were items on these trees, by the way. I, I just usually get out of here ASAP. I know how to get out of here. I can't remember how we get that thing though. Wait. This is this we go and we come out? We should be, oh, we are in a different area. Because there's no exit here. Where's this item? Okay. So we're in a different area, but it looks the same, but it's not, we're in a different area. Now if we go this way, but then yeah, if we go this way, we end up back where we came from. But what if we go back this way? It's, I can't read the letter, it's so blurred. Oh. Oh shit, I did it the wrong way. I'm a dumbass, I'm reading this wrong. So we go to this tree, the tree is a dead end, right? Can't go anywhere. If we go back this way, that takes us to the, the place that looks like the original place, but doesn't have an exit up here, and go down. I should have got a higher version. I, I think I shrunk the map down to fit on the page. And it's made it like really pixelated and hard to read. 
uh, other than the lines, the lines and the layout's fine, but the little, like this is exit A and this goes to A, goes to there. That's hard to see. So now we're here, we can run around all this, right? We need to cut this. We need to cut this to get the TM. All right, before we do that, Where is this hidden items? It sounds like there's one here. This here? Yeah, it's gonna be this all. Power Bracer, don't care. Minion one, know about this team. Okay, let's go here. All right. So to get the TM, we gotta go through here. Who are we gonna teach cut to temporarily for now? Um, wait, wasn't Giga Impact a TM? Did he legit learn Giga Impact? I'm, I can't remember. Looks like he legit learned Giga Impact. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Venusaur. Petal Blizzard, because Petal Blizzard is eighty, um, and we never click it. We just click Sludge and and Petal Dance, so it's fine. So let's cut this bush because I want this TM. Hopefully it's good. What have you got for me, bro? Do I have to fight her? Fuck it. Don't care about your magic, bro. You're not spooky. The place is spooky. Not you. You're just a person. Strongman Desdemona on your talent flame. You know what, yeah. Talent flame. I don't like the colors being gray. They should have just made it white. Reason being, the red is too orangey. It's like red and black works, but then it's like the gray just looks dumb to me. It just looks out of place. Okay. Well, it's for me because you're going to land first because you went first. Lol. Oh no. And he got hurt by the sticky bob. You try to use natural gift, which only works if you're holding the berry when it's holding the sticky bob. Hey, Iron Man. If I do this game again, I'll, honest to God, I'm putting this on the difficulty. I'm giving everyone, an, everyone's getting like a 10% level boost. I'm giving everyone six, six trainers. Everyone, all trainers getting six Pokemon. They are all getting, actually I might not raise the level then. I might just give everyone six Pokemon. And I will need to, because I'll get too much XP. Everyone's getting six Pokemon. Everyone's getting max AI, battle appropriate items. I don't care, I'm gonna make this thing difficult. Knockoff. I it was all for a knockoff, bro. Because sometimes this game does dumb shit, bro. Dumb shit. It's like that. You're fighting one Pokemon. You feel like being like, really? So this is the way out. You just go down here through the. You're done. Welcome to the Pokemon Village. And here he is, the gym leader we've been looking for. Do you know what this place is? This is the Pokemon village. This place is a secret, you know. Most of the Pokemon here have runaways, escaped from bad people who do awful things to them. It is a shame how many heartless traders who cannot bother to care for the Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, or some of them are just too strong and they found they don't really have a place in the outside world. So they come here. I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you and you have some good times together, haven't you? Hey, you can come out now, this one is all right. I don't know what voice I'm doing for him, it's just random. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners, I haven't even had a proper introduction yet. My name is Wolfric. I'm usually the gym leader in Snowball City since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess you want to challenge me. Sure. 
I thought so. Sorry to be an inconvenience to you like this. I'll be waiting back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it would be good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. We do get an encounter here. <laughs> Boof. This, this is an encounter. This is an actual encounter place, so do not worry. Do not fear. But it's 35 minutes, so we're not doing this right now. <laughs> I don't know, I think I was going for some kind of Scandinavian, Dutch, German voice, and it just kind of went... I was trying to, to channel... Um, what is his name? It kind of went a bit like that... Oh, what is his name? The dude from Mandalorian that shot me as a child. I was trying, it sounded like a bit like that, and a bit like... Uh, what's the dude from Death Clock? Not Toki, the other guy. The what's the one with the blonde hair? I wanted to try and make it sound like him. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Pokemon Y Randomized Nice Lock. In the next episode, we will be getting our encounter and exploring a little bit of the Pokemon Village. There's not really much here to be honest. Before going to challenge Wolfric for the Ice Badge. And then after that, it's literally the Victory Road in Elite Four. So we're not long left, but hopefully I'm gonna take a break and rest my buttocks. Um but yeah, join us next time for that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and goodbye.